The following program is sponsored by friends and partners of Harvest International Ministries. Glory to God, my name is Tracy Harris. My wife, Lori, and I, and all the other partners of Harvest International Ministries want to welcome you, our viewing audience from all over the world today, into the broadcast. Wherever you may be watching from, Africa, the United Kingdom, coast to coast, across the North American continent, or any other nation, prepare for your life to change forever. We are so excited you're here. It's our pleasure to sow this precious time we have together into your lives. Since Jesus manifested himself to me as the same yesterday, today, and forever, we've been taking the revelation of the truths that you're going to hear in these broadcasts all over the world. He has proven himself alive in every meeting and in every crusade, as the blind have seen, the deaf have heard, the lame have walked, the poor have received their needs met, and the dead have experienced resurrection power. There is a miracle for your moment, and your faith will be stirred today. As you stay tuned to the broadcast, you'll learn there are so many ways to connect daily with Him. You can receive revelation that will empower you and your faith to annihilate every trace of the curse in your life. So come on in. Let's spend some time together around the Word of God and watch Jesus Prove himself alive in your life today. There shall be no more curse. Oh, glory to God, child of God. Welcome to the studio today. I am so excited about what the Spirit of God is about to do in our lives in the now season. You didn't tune in by accident. God supernaturally ordered your steps across this program, and together, you and I around the Word of God are going to see miracles, signs, wonders. God's grace is going to go to work for you. God's authority, His power, His help, His anointing, that is the, the ability to remove burdens and destroy yokes, is going to go to work for you in this program. And what you hear today is going to change your life forever. I've got something that I want to talk to you as a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ about a substance you have inside yourself that makes nothing impossible. You can get your destiny realized. You can get your family blessed. You can walk in financial prosperity. But it's not just all about you. It's about the fact that God's plan wants to prosper in your life. And you can actually supernaturally accomplish what God has put you on the earth to do. If you're not a believer, if you're not sure you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, you need to watch this program because you can be, because the very substance of heaven that I'm going to talk about today as we continue along the lines of something the Lord's told me to minister to you, that very substance is the great equalizer and God has dealt to every man this substance that will hear the word of God. The substance we're talking about, the heavenly supernatural force the law, the spiritual substance of faith. You have it. I have it. Let's talk about it because what's ever born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Child of God, let's just jump into the Word and let's just see what the living God and the Spirit of God wants us to hear and know together as we see what we're talking about today in the Word of God. Hebrews chapter 11, starting in verse 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So here he's telling us that the whole material universe was actually created by a force called faith. And what gives faith its power, 
its authority and its force is the word of the living God. Faith-filled words created the very substances that made whatever device you're watching this, this, this on right now. And here's the bottom line. The scripture tells us that Jesus had a situation where a Roman centurion sent to him and said, my servant is lying at home, sick of the palsy, and he's at the point of death. And then he told him later, uh, as he sent other elders, Jesus said, I'll come and heal him. Then he told him, it is not necessary that you come under my roof. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be made whole. He'll be healed. You know what Jesus said? Jesus said, I have not found such a great faith among all of those covenant people all over Israel. Here's a Gentile man, doesn't even have the covenant. But he understood the authority of the word of God when it is spoken and put in operation by faith. We see clearly that Jesus identified the centurion's faith in the word of God as the substance that caused that word to raise up his servant. And supernaturally, Jesus said, go your way, your servant lives. And at that, that very moment, he was raised up from a deathbed. Jesus physically didn't have to go there. Now, here's what I'm trying to say. In Hebrews chapter 11, we're going to read verse 3 one more time. Something is going to come alive in your spirit because the substance I'm talking about isn't just in this studio. It isn't just in your house. It's not just over the TV camera. It's not just in a meeting or a church when you go there. It is in your reborn human spirit. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. We need to talk about this substance and get some kind of an understanding that even though we can't see it with our natural eyes, it is a heavenly materiality. It is a tangible reality, and it connects heaven and earth together. And God has dealt it to every man that will just simply hear the word of God. This faith, this substance is transferred by hearing, and faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10, 17. In fact, the Bible tells us it's why he told us to preach. He said through the foolishness of preaching, people can be delivered, saved, have miracles, be set free from darkness to light, power of Satan to the power of God, not go to hell but go to heaven by the foolishness of preaching for those who believe. In fact, I want to read you one more verse, and we'll come right back to Hebrews 11, 3. And uh, it is in the book of Romans, chapter 1, and it tells us there in verse 16, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to everyone that believes it. What I want you to understand is our faith is what transforms the word into the power, the substance of God's power. The very power that raised Jesus from the dead is a heavenly materiality. It is a force to be reckoned with. It stops storms. It moves mountains. It casts out devils. It heals bodies. It is so authoritative that it overcomes the seen realm and changes it in what we call a miracle. But what it really is is the inaction of a higher law, more force in the unseen realm than the seen, and it causes the seen realm to change. Maybe you've got a bad doctor's report. Maybe there's a situation going on. We're not, we're not denying that there's bacterial germs. We're not denying at all that there's viruses. We're, we're not denying a, even a sonogram that shows a lump in your body. But I am telling you by the Spirit of God, by His stripes you were healed. And the force of faith that created your body has more authority than what your body's trying to do to rebel against what God has planned for you. God didn't create you to die. He created you to live. He created you to be blessed. And He has chosen to transfer this substance to you by hearing. In other words, through the foolishness of preaching, God saves those that believe. Corinthians makes that very clear. Romans 10, 17 makes that clear. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And how are they going to believe unless they hear? How are they going to hear unless it's preached? How are they going to preach unless they're sent? I'm telling you, somebody partnered with us. Somebody helped us to hear, to sow this seed. We are sent to you on television. I'm sent to your house right now. I'm absolutely, by the hand of God, sent into your eyes and your ears like Jesus' voice was sent 
to that Roman centurion's house, and it effected a miracle, and Jesus didn't even have to come there. I'm telling you, we are coming by the Word of God, and that same Word carries power to change your situation right now where you are today. So as we're talking about this substance, we need to see that it is tangible, it is a reality, and it's the very thing that God used. It's the force God used to create the planet. It's the force Jesus used to deal with demons, to get the will of God done, to get his ministry done. And it is the force that raised Jesus from the dead. And glory to God, we have it. <laughs> I have it. You have it. That makes us in a place by the covenant of God. Now understand, it came by grace. Understand it's a gift. Understand it's not something I can work up or even get educated enough to have. No, 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 no. This is a seed. It comes in a seed form, and it is a gift, and it can only come transferred from God, His Spirit, to our spirit by hearing the Word of God. So let's look and see what the Word of God says about this because this is such a powerful, powerful thing at this moment. Now faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. Everything you hope for that you don't currently see in your life, faith is the heavenly force that God gave you to cause what you can't see that you hope for to come into reality, to come into substantive reality where your hand can touch it, your eye can see it, your ear can hear it. This word, substance, now in the Greek, literally is hypostasis. It means to stand under or to have an understanding. It's the foundation. It's the support structure. It's the assurance. It's the convincing in your heart that God convinces you without seeing it, without hearing it, you have the title deed to the promise that whatever God has said belongs to you because you are no respecter of persons. It is the title deed. It's what you can show the enemy in a legal way and tell him, no, this belongs to me because it's written. This belongs to me because Jesus died and rose again and all the promises of God in Christ are yes and amen. Let's talk about it because as I'm talking to you, it's getting transferred. This substance right now is coming down on the inside of your heart and to be honest with you, it's going to change your life forever if you'll hear what I'm saying. So once again, Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds, plural, were framed by the word of God so that things... Things, things, things which are seen. They're seen things. Faith has authority over that. Things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. There's unseen things. Faith-filled words made every seen thing, every unseen thing. We're talking about worlds, not only successive ages here, as it's written in the Greek, but also two worlds, a spiritual world and a natural world, a visible world and an invisible world, and there are substantive power in those worlds. That means angels and demons in the underworld and in the unseen realm, the forces that even come against us, that we're thinking, I keep hitting this glass ceiling. I don't know why I can't seem to break through. God has given us a substance to overcome the world. And that substance is our faith. And here it says that faith is the substance. Through faith we understand that the world's the unseen and the seen world were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So the substance of faith, or let me say it this way, the force of faith, the spiritual force of faith is what gave substance, tangible reality, transferring ability, authority inside the word of God for the word, so to speak, as it did in Jesus' body, to become flesh and dwell among us. Now, to, to talk about this a little bit more, it's important to go back to the previous chapter and talk about a few verses that are written here because he speaks to people that in their former days have had situations in their life 
that are challenging. For example, here's what he says in Hebrews 10, 32. Call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, you endured a great fight of afflictions. Have you ever had a great promise of God come or, or, or prayer that you just thought was answered and you're about to step through the door and it's snatched from your grasp? Well, we have an enemy. Jesus said, Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. What I want you to understand is the great parable of the sower in Mark 4. says that when the sower sows the word, Satan comes immediately to take away that word. Here's the people that got illuminated. Here's the people that the moment they got the word, the moment they started to step out on the word, it wasn't very long till here comes an enemy to steal from them what God wanted them to have. Now, before I talk to you about what they did, what we can do, and what we will do to walk in victory, I want to remind you that God's word in Ephesians 6 tells us that we can take the shield of faith and quench every fiery dart of the wicked one. So I want you to know that based upon Ephesians 6, faith is a force you and I possess that is like a shield for our lives that Satan is defenseless against. 1 Peter 5 tells us, resist the devil, steadfast in the faith, and when you do, he will flee from you. The word flee means run from you as if in stark terror. I'm telling you by the Spirit of the living God that if we stay in the faith arena, if we continue to walk in the law, the supernatural spiritual law of faith, which has more authority than natural law, more authority than even civil law, the righteousness of faith supersedes the righteousness of the law. People who don't have the authority to tell you no, they don't have the authority to prophesy to you. For example, they're operating in facts. Maybe somebody has an incurable disease. They're trying to say to you, you have six months to live. Well, they're authorized and trained to look at the facts. It's okay when they tell you the facts. This is what I see on the x-ray. But it's not okay for them to prophesy to you that you only have six months to live. They don't possess that authority. Now, I believe in doctors. My son's a medical doctor. Uh, I, I, I really enjoy the medical procedure of helping people. But they're men. I'm a man. We're limited. Faith is what takes us up into the realm of the impossible. And what medical science, nor an operation, nor mankind has a cure for, faith will get what men can't do. It takes us out of the impossible, puts us in the possible. And the reason I'm telling you that today is it's one thing to look at the facts, but the truth says, I will live long, I will live strong, and I'll see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I'm telling you, you're going to live and not die, and you are the healed of the Lord. And this too shall come to pass. God has a plan. This mountain's going to move. This giant's going to fall. This problem's going to bow its knee because God's word guarantees it will. And there's a force inside of you. There's a force inside of me called the substance of faith that will work the miracle and that will bring me the victory. Now, as we talk about it, let's go back here. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 32. Call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated, you endured a great fight of afflictions, partly while you were made a gazing stock, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly while you became companions of them that were so used. Then he said, but you had compassions on me and my bonds and took joyfully, listen to that, took joyfully the spoiling of your goods. What? Somebody stole something from me? And I just say, <laughs> you think you can take something from me? You think you have authority to steal something from me and keep it? There's no way. Look at what the writer of Hebrews is saying. He's saying no matter the affliction, no matter what seems to be stolen from your life, he's saying Satan nor any man, nobody can take something from you that faith won't grow, reproduce, recover, restore, Breakthrough, bind, cast out, cast off. Faith that made the world will make you a brand new world. Faith that made our bodies will make you a brand new body. Faith that brought that money will give you brand new resources. I'm telling you, we have it in us right now. And here's what I want to download on the inside of you. Listen to what it says. It says, 
For you have compassion on me in my bonds, took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing, oh, I'm telling you, I'm going to slow down a little bit here, make sure you get this, knowing inside yourselves, in yourselves, you have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Notice this. You have inside yourself from heaven, in you. It's in heaven, but it's in you. This substance is functioning right now in both realms. Notice, once again, let's read it. We took joyfully the spoiling of our goods because this natural circumstance doesn't matter. Here's why. We know in ourselves that we have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. By the time you get to chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance. So the Bible's very clear that he is not pleased with them that draw back, but he's pleased with them that believe on. Why? Because faith is the heavenly substance, earthly substance connector. Faith actually is a force, a spiritual force that exists in both realms because it came out of the heavenly realm, but it's transferred to us in our spirit and it's the thing God gave us to touch this realm and cause this realm to be subdued and to submit to the way heaven wants it to be. When Jesus was in earth, he prayed like this, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What that means is, if Jesus came to do the will of God, if everything he said was what God told him to say, then what that reveals to us is, not everything that's happening on earth is the will of God. And he's also saying the kingdom can come on the earth and change earth to conform to its will. God's word is God's will. That means you might have something going on that doesn't look like the Bible's true, but that's facts, it's seen, it is changeable. There is a substance. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a substance. And when you put that substance in operation, both worlds go to work for you. This substance is not only in heaven. This substance is inside yourself. And I want you to understand, if you get faith in you, then you have heavenly substance in you. And if that's true, then faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. It's the evidence that God has given you and me a heavenly title deed the court of all courts, the supreme court of the universe, the king of kings, has given me the heavenly title deed, the authority, if you will, in the name of Jesus, by the word of God, to put God's word to speak to that mountain, have the mountain removed and cast into the sea, and if we will not doubt in our heart, but believe that those things which you say us have come to pass, we'll have whatsoever things we say. Glory be to God. Well, child of God, uh, I'm going to be with you again next week. We're going to pick up right here where we're leaving off, but I'm out of time today. And I want to encourage you, go to our website. We can be such, such a bigger help to you because we're trying to get something to you and not from you. And so we do a monthly teaching letter. That teaching letter is not only to teach the Word of God, to build your faith, but it's part of what we're sent to do. And therefore, we want to sow this letter to you monthly, and it will help teach you how to harvest, how to receive from heaven. Go to the website, tracyharris.tv. You can download old programs. You can find the stream. Go to VTN and other, uh, other television networks that we're on, and you can get the Facebook live stream. There's a lot of things there that you can continue to feed your faith, but especially hit the banner on that monthly teaching letter, Put your address and information in there. We'll get that letter to you. You can get your hands on it. You can get your faith fed. And then you can put your hands on there and pray over that thing. I'm telling you, your mountain's going to move and the storm stops in your life today. Now, friend, if you're watching and you're not born again today, you can have this substance too. The Bible says, by grace are you saved through faith. That not of works and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God lest any man should boast. None of us can boast that we're walking in the miracle power of God. Our lives are blessed because this was God's idea, this was God's will, this was God's initiative, and I want to encourage you, you can hook up with getting this word that's blessed you to somebody else, but right now, if you're unsure about where you're going to spend eternity, pray this simple prayer with me in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I believe Jesus is the Son of the living God. I believe He came and died for my sins. There it is, say that, yeah. And Father, I'm asking you to forgive me, 
Wash me in your blood. I believe heaven is my home. Take my life, Lord Jesus. Do something with it. Today is my heavenly birthday. Glory to God. Well, congratulations. Get online. We'll send you some faith-building products. I love you. God bless you. Till next week, Jesus is coming soon. Wow, what a wonderful message. Thank you for watching and tuning in. We here at Harvest International Ministries know that your time is valuable. So we want to make connecting with us as easy as it can get. For example, we know you caught this broadcast, but there might be a TV show you miss. So head over to TracyHarris.tv. You can watch this show again or any others we produce 24-7 on demand to build your faith and change your world. Also, head over to experiencehim.org. We have blog posts. You can check out our monthly partner letter, our seasonal magazine, or you can even download free copies of any of Brother Tracy's books. But we don't want to be the only ones doing the talking. We want to hear your prayer requests. We want to hear your praise reports. So email us at the website or message us on Facebook and Instagram to let us know what's going on in your life. Finally, we know we have a worldwide footprint and we're so thankful Jesus gave it to us. But we know that means not everybody can worship with us physically. So make sure to join us Sunday mornings on Facebook Live, YouTube, Roku, and TracyHarris.tv. We are so glad you stayed. We pray you enjoyed the message. And we pray that Jesus brings His grace, His wonderful, wonderful peace in your life, and that He touches you with all He is into all you are. Give Him your life today and let Him do something with it. And go out and change your world. Have peace in Jesus' name. Are you ready to step into your destiny? Your life will be forever transformed as you grow in your relationship with God. Become established in strong faith grounded upon God's Word and become empowered to impact your world. If you're ready to answer the assignment of the Holy Spirit and become a world changer, come train with us. Often the first step on a new journey is the hardest, but we are here to help every step of the way. Apply today, either through the online application or by mail. Our core curriculum will begin with classes on righteousness, authority of the believer, and faith. Our instructors will impart biblical revelation knowledge and application, as well as practical ministry experience. Experience School of Him for yourself. You will never be the same. Thank you for watching Experience Him. If this message has ministered to you and you would like more information or to contact Harvest International Ministries, write to us at the address on the screen or please visit us online at tracyharris.tv. Join us as we go from vision to victory by helping this generation reach its destiny through teaching, preaching, and healing the nations.